All right, so Zach's asking a great question here. He says, what happens when it's not practical to use a cutoff wheel to cut something? Like if you have big material or long cuts you need to make, like on sheet metal, what do you do if you, if you don't have a bandsaw or a place to take it to do the work for you? Well, you're gonna need a torch. Now, torches are great because they're, anyone can get access to a torch. All you need is a, an actual cutting torch, a line and uh, oxygen and settling tank and you're ready to go. Now you can get these at any welding supply store. Now if you've never used a cutting torch, it can be a little intimidating at first because you have different gas flows, you have two different gases you're working with, uh, you have a, a gun, a trigger here, when do you pull that? So if you've never used one, but you're realizing that you do need to get a torch or you do want to get a torch, I'm going to give you a three-step process to get started. Now I'm going to preface this by saying that I'm terrible with a torch. Now that doesn't mean that I can't cut material, it just means that I'm not the greatest at it. But the reason that I'm making this tutorial for you is because I want you to see that anybody at any level can pick up a cutting torch and in three steps start cutting material. Now it may not be the prettiest cut in the world, but it is a cut. So if you're in a bind and you don't have a place to take your material to get cut, I want you to have the skills to at least be able to bully your way through to get your project finished. All right, so lighting a torch isn't that complicated. There's just a few simple things to remember. You've got three knobs to deal with here. One is settling, one is oxygen, and this is sort of your adjuster knob that adjusts the oxygen flow coming out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our settling on first. Now the settling is, uh, it's, it's kind of what you would you think of as the fuel gas. This is what's burning, right? So the fuel gas you're gonna turn on first, just kind of maybe like a, a quarter of a turn there. Get your starter. Now you can use a little starter like this or you can use a lighter, whatever you have available. So you're gonna get that started. Now you want to adjust, and the first thing you'll notice is you'll probably see some, some black smoke coming up, right? You see some smoke. Now, if you, the, the less settling you have coming out, the more of that black smoke you have coming out. Now, what you wanna do is adjust your flame until that smoke is going away pretty much, right? And you can see the flame is starting to feather off a little bit too. So we're gonna adjust that up a little bit. You're still gonna have a little bit of smoke. And then you're gonna turn your oxygen on we're going to adjust the amount of oxygen that we have coming out. And we're going to do that with this top knob. So we're just going to turn this slightly. And you can see your flame starting to change. And you can see it's starting to change at that tip. We're changing color. We've got all these little spikes here, nice clean spikes. Some people call them flame cones. I call them spikes. You can call them whatever you want to. But you see they're nice, clean spikes there and that is what you want now depending on the thickness of your material that you're using you're going to control how much you're going to need more heat you're going to need more fuel coming out of this remember your settling is your fuel so you're going to crank up your settling a little bit more if you need to and when you do that you'll probably need to adjust your oxygen a little bit now that you have everything nice and set this is where you're going to put the Put the torch to your material now you're going to start at the end of the material now if you're if you're starting in the middle of say a piece of sheet metal or any kind of material and you're gonna cut in the middle so you're not cutting from an edge, I recommend you drill a hole first so you have a nice pilot hole. And the reason I suggest to do that is because you want that edge of the material. That edge of the material is what's gonna heat up a lot easier rather than you just putting this right down in the middle of a big old piece of metal, right? So you wanna have that, that edge, it's easier to heat up faster. So once the edge of your metal is heated up and you're ready to start cutting, squeeze the trigger and it's gonna force all this extra gas through. And that, that force is actually gonna be what cuts through the metal. So you're gonna maintain a nice, even pace all the way down your material where you're cutting and keeping the trigger squeezed. So you're just gonna be forcing through. Now you think of it as pushing this puddle. You wanna, you're gonna take that heat and you're just pushing that heat, keeping it in front of your cut all the way down. You wanna keep everything in front of that cut hot so that gas is that's pushing forward can push through that heat because if it's not hot enough it's not gonna it's not gonna cut it's just gonna blow back all right now one quick note on killing the torch now what you want to do first is we're gonna kill the settling first so an easy way to remember this is since the settling is the fuel the fuel is always gonna come first so when you're turning your torch on fuel comes first because you need fuel when you're turning it off you're gonna kill the fuel first because if you don't have fuel you don't have a torch so we're gonna kill that first turn that off and then we're gonna turn off our oxygen 
All right, that's it. Whew, man, it, it's hot in here too. You know, maybe that's the reason why I don't like using torches so much is because it's always so hot in here and these things really crank up the heat in your shop. So I hope that was helpful for you. Look, the whole point of this was just to get you started and to be able to actually cut your material when you need to. And as you start to build up your scrap collection, just play around with cutting different types of metal, different thicknesses, different lengths of cuts. Just practice, 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 practice. That's the only way you're gonna get better. And I know I need to do the same.